In today's Builder's Blog, we're going to look at how you can use Formstack Documents, Formstack Sign, and Formstack Salesforce app to automatically create and update Salesforce records and streamline your customer onboarding process. This tutorial was built in collaboration with Formstack partner Sky. Sky is a boutique cloud services company specializing in Salesforce and focused on delivering solutions that allow better engagement, interactions, and productivity. Interested in learning more about the Formstack Partner Program or having your use case featured on our Builders blog? Check out the links in the description to learn more. Let's take a look at the use case from Sky. Here you can see they're using Formstack Salesforce app, Formstack Documents, and Formstack Sign to build and populate contracts, generate floor plans, collect e-signatures, trigger onboarding workflows, and save documents into Salesforce. Today, we're going to simplify their workflow to show you how you can use Formstack Documents, Formstack Sign, and Formstack Salesforce app to recreate this workflow for yourself. To get started, log into Salesforce. In this example, we're using a custom Salesforce object. Check out the video linked above for a more in-depth look at setting up custom objects. We'll be generating our Salesforce records with form data, but we're using a couple of formulas to calculate customer pricing information. For today's example, let's look at a couple of the formulas we're using on our fields. Navigate to your custom object by clicking Setup and Object Manager. Here's a look at a few of the fields we've included on our custom object. Now let's look at the formula we're using to calculate our joining fee. We're assigning a joining fee of $100 per user for our customers. To calculate the total joining fee for customers, we're multiplying the number of users field times $100. Next, we're going to look at adding if statements to our formulas. We want to encourage customers to sign longer leases. So the longer the lease, the better the monthly rate. We're going to calculate this field in Salesforce with an if formula. Toggle to the advanced formula tab. Under functions, select if. We're inserting the membership field into our if statement and identifying the prices if true. We're setting the if false value to zero. a look at a new record within our custom object. Next, navigate to your Formstack Documents app and select the Settings tab. We need to add our custom object to our list of supported Salesforce objects. Select Add New Object and type in your object name. Next, we'll set up our document. Select the Documents tab and choose New Document. Formstack Documents will help you get started by prompting you with a few questions. Give your document a title, and select how you'd like to set up your template. For this example, we're building our template in the Document Builder, but you also have the option to upload a document or start with one of our example templates. Next, choose how you'd like your document to be delivered. For this example, we're choosing two options. We'll save our populated document in Formstack's cloud storage tool, Stash, and integrate with a third-party delivery, where we'll be sending our documents to Formstack Sign. Finally, we'll choose where our data is coming from. We're going to populate our documents using data from a Salesforce form, so we'll choose Use a Data Collection Form. Next, you'll be directed to the Document Builder, where you can start adding the language of your contract. Here, you can see we're adding merge fields to identify where our form data will be added to our document. We want to ensure that our customers read and acknowledge each section, so we'll insert Formstack Sign initial tags after each section. To ensure your initial tags populate correctly, don't forget to change the font color to white. We're completing our contract by adding an e-signature tag and a date tag to the bottom of our document. Next, navigate to the Deliver tab. Here you can see we've started three deliveries. First, we have our stash delivery, where we're directing completed files to a folder in our cloud storage app. Next, we have our Formstack Sign delivery. Formstack Sign can send e-signature requests to your customers by email or SMS text message. Identify the signer and their contact information. We're going to customize our email message and make sure our signers know to look for their invoice in a separate email. 
We also want to make sure the signed and dated version of our documents is uploaded in Salesforce and Stash. To do this, select More Options, choose Delay Other Deliveries, and check both Salesforce and Stash. Lastly, we want to make sure our document saves to our Salesforce instance. Here, we're using the account ID in our document and the opportunity ID on our object to tell Salesforce where to upload our document. Next, we're going to set up our Formstack documents mapping. Select the Mappings tab and choose New Mapping. Give your mapping a title and connect it to the Salesforce object you created. Select your document and Formstack documents will pull in a list of the fields in your document and onto your custom object. For standard objects, to trigger the document creation, you just need to toggle on the checkbox to automatically generate the documents when a record is created. Since we're working with a custom object, we'll need to use the Process Builder to automatically generate documents. Before you leave this page, grab the mapping ID number at the top of the screen. Select the gear icon at the top right of your screen and choose Setup. Use the Quick Find function to search for the Process Builder. Here you can see we've already gotten our process started. Choose your object and what starts the process. For this process, we won't be using any special criteria, just executing the actions. For immediate actions, we're setting the action type as Apex and the Apex class as Generate Document. For your web merge mapping ID, set the type to String and paste the ID pulled from your mapping page. Activate your process and we're ready for our final step. Our last step will be setting up the form that will collect customer data, populate our Salesforce record, and generate our document. Navigate to your Formstack app. Select Create New Form. Give your form a title and set your primary object as the custom object you created earlier. Formstack Salesforce app pulls in fields from your object so you don't need to worry about mapping. Simply drag and drop fields from the right-hand side of your screen into your form as needed. On the Form Settings tab, you can update your Submit Label and Submission Message. When you're ready, select Publish Draft and choose Publish Options. Here, you'll find the embed code to add your form to your website and a link to share your form. Select the link and let's run a test. Add some test data to your form to ensure your workflow executes as expected. Once you hit submit, check your Salesforce instance for your new opportunity. Then check your email to make sure your document came through for signature. And that's it. We hope you've enjoyed this builder tutorial. Subscribe to our channel to stay on top of new Formstack product releases and content, and check out our other easy to build tutorials from our builder series.